Hey everybody, it's me, Angela Walters, with the Free Motion Challenge Quilting Along, and I'm stopping in for a quick week three bonus video. When I posted my last video about quilting with arc rulers, there were a lot of questions about Archie or what to do if you have smaller rulers. Now, I did address this in the video, but I didn't demonstrate it, so I'm gonna pop it real quick with just a short video to show you how to do that. If you remember, in the previous video, I talked a lot about repositioning your ruler. If you're working with a smaller ruler, you'll just have to reposition more often. So whether I'm using my Handy Quilter Slice Ruler, or my Taj, or my Archie, I can still do the same thing. Let's kind of look here where I'm gonna do some curved echoing. Positioning my Archie Ruler, I'm gonna quilt along it until I start to veer off, and then I'll reposition. I'm demonstrating this on the long arm just because it's quicker to film. Now I do wanna say I'm gonna be using some contrasting thread so that you can really see what I'm doing. However, on an actual quilt, I would use a blending thread color so that you don't see any of those bobbles. And remember, no matter what size ruler you're using, as long as the lines are smooth, it's gonna look great. One thing that will help though is marking out those curves beforehand. In this instance, I'm just echoing that shape. So I have a guideline to follow. If I'm creating a motif or doing any big arc design, I'll go ahead and mark it out so I can follow the guideline. So let's revisit those arcs that we did inside the curved block. I'm quilting these arcs that go from point to point. Now, the smaller ones will be no problem, but that longer one is gonna be a little tricky. It's gonna be hard to see where I'm going. So in this instance, I might mark out that bigger one. And although I'm using a pencil, it might not be easy for you to see. I'm just kind of giving myself that guideline so that will help keep me on track. And then I'll treat it much like I treat the echoing. I'm just gonna quilt, adjust, quilt, adjust, and keep on. And remember, I'm looking at my ruler and I'm paying very close attention to where it's going. There's benefits and drawbacks to bigger and smaller rulers. The main idea is just to use the ruler you have to create as many different shapes as you can. Well, I hope that tip helped make a little sense. I'll see you soon with the next week's challenge when we're gonna talk about quilting with cutout rulers. Until then, happy quilting.